Justin, last Squishy Muffins, <laughs> last man standing as this magical run continues. Will it proceed past Swiss M80? The next mid boss steps up. Got me stressing casting this one. It's like, I don't want to cast. Uh, it's like, I want Muffin Men to win. But then they're here, and now I could be casting them losing, but maybe I could be casting them winning. This could be the start of the reverse sweep by the Muffin Men. But yeah, you're absolutely right. There's been some crazy results so far. NRG are out. TSM's number one in Swiss. G2 get their first loss. Dignitas is bouncing back. Regional three is entertaining me, to say the least. <laughs> How can you not be entertained by this? Of course, with all the drama, this being the last chance to get points to try and qualify for the Copenhagen Major as Jory is blocked by Gimmick and we're off and running here in game one. Everybody just decides to leave the ball so AJ can take a soft shot. Rebound comes out to Jory. There's a lot more pace behind this. Nass is there and Gimmick with the save. Not out of the woods just yet, but a good initial stop. M80 tries to keep squeezing the pressure on here. Squishy around one. Only Nass to beat. Bring it down to ground and he chips it over him. This is just the Squishy show. He showed us what he could be like when all the lights are on him in that last series. Had a total of five goals against Shopify Rebellion. Off to a great start against M80 who bring consistency of their own. M80 has gotten top eight in all the regionals thus far. But you know, regional three has been a little bit chaotic to say the least. And with, you know, Squ Squishy's end of the career on the line with both these teams being one and two, you know, they're putting it all on the line. Squishy's downfield here. Couldn't connect on that pass from Gimmick. Aqua waiting. He'll have to be called into action on the side as Squishy just goes right down the middle. Could have sent that over towards Aqua. Opted not to. Now Nass over to AJ and Gimmick there for the stop. What can Gimmick do with this? He's got Aqua jumping here and he's checked out of the play. So now that will just fall to Jorius and M80 can go back to work. It's so weird seeing M80 playing this deep into Swiss after they were so dominant in Swiss in the first two qualifiers. I know so much has been made of that because they, again, did not proceed past the quarterfinals. That shot narrowly missing. Nass with Jorius downfield. Nass will take it himself and just <laughs> dribble it right home. And it helps to have Jorius go for that demo where Jorius was the player actually with the highest assist per game coming out of regional two. And then with just all of the offensive capability out of M80, once they start rolling, it's really hard to stop them, especially when they're going for demos like that. So M80, you love to see them connecting when it matters the most. And then Jorius gets to have some time in the spotlight too. Maybe the fun police have arrived here. Jorius with Aqua coming up. He crisscrosses with Gimmick. That doesn't work out. He just waits and picks a spot. And M80 out to a lead after conceding that first goal to Squishy. Remember, Squishy scored first in the previous round as well. And it worked out all right. One of his five. This one pinched on target, and Squishy has to make the save coming across. M80, I have to imagine, they're going to get quite a few more quality opportunities. So the Muffin Men defensively are going to have to be on their A game as Nass stones gimmick. And he will take this himself up to the sky again. Threaten the ceiling pinch and Squishy was right there at the doorstep ready to save it away. It's nice to see the, the bounce back that Muffin Men have had uh, at the start of their day. It did not start off so well. 0-2, but a big win against Shopify. Uh, I was on the desk there saying, you know, you're facing a weaker Shopify. Muffin Men, I think that was a big confidence booster to win a match against a very well-respected team in Shopify Rebellion. You're going up against M80, titled the Swiss Merchants, who've had a rocky road of their own, losing to Omelette. Uh, very painful game five against Luminosity with three overtimes. We'll see if M80 still have gas left in the tank. So far, so good, but one goal insurance may not be enough. Here comes Aqua, but see that uh, Muffin Men are still working on that second goal. A great pass out from Gimmick. Squishy hits the bar, and Jory is with the save. Aqua goes to the backboard, trying to line up a triple, and it's still right there on the front doorstep. And Jory's will bring it away. Squishy ranging back, and he makes his save. Coming out of the net. Aqua will send this away as well. M80 not done just yet. Near misses on either side. 
but we remain a one goal lead here for M80. And a really important save coming out of Muffin Man. You keep this within one. But Muffin Men will be, have their defense tested after that. Clear, they couldn't recuperate. And Jorius is trying to bully through that net. All three of Muffin Men are there, but managing to make some real estate, but not able to break out. Aqua waiting for the long pass, but it's AJ that manages to get a shot on target. Saves coming out of Muffin Men, but where's the retaliation? They only have one minute left to equalize. Oh, there's gonna be a fatal mistake gimmick leaving that ball, and it nearly turned into one. Still remains a one goal game though as Aqua tries to get around Jorius. Boy, they are just stuck in their own zone. Finally, Squishy can escape through the air. Aqua's downfield. He can't get a piece of AJ. And boy, the more this ball stays up in the air, I understand Squishy's over there, but they need to get this ball down to ground and make some moves along the ground, get some passes, get possession again. Because if they have to keep chasing M80 into the air, they're not going to have enough time to get back into this game. Aqua had that one skip out, and Nass is right there with 13 seconds. Double touch to keep this downfield. And here's the last charge for the Muffin men in game one. Intercepted oh. by Nass. Aqua will leave it for gimmick. Squishy's there waiting to make a play. He's got to scramble onto this around the corner. It kicks out. Nobody's there. And M80 take game one. Great defense coming out of M80, especially when they were getting demoed. They had to face these two on three situations and M80 deal with I mean, Look, we saw almost a reverse sweep in the previous round with these guys. They're never out of it for sure. And of course, the momentum is never too strong. We go on now to game two. See if M80 can keep their hopes alive for getting into the playoffs and making a run at the major. It's Muffin Men scoring early again. Wow, what a kickoff already. We had kickoff shenanigans in the last game, but Muffin Men need to start off strong, and they did just that in game two. And from Aqua, of all things, when it's been all squishy, doubling his teammates' score in this uh, for, in the first game to putting on a show in the last series against Shopify, you need all of Muffin Men playing at their peak. It's one and two. It's do or die. You lose this match, you're out. And you can see that Muffin Men are feeling that pressure. Loose ball on the side that's taken over by Jorius, who had a key role to play in M80's couple of goals. Now Nass threatening Aqua. Well, that is great concentration out of Aqua. Again, can't sing his praises enough. And he's going to make a roster better somewhere in the second split, wherever he ends up. Squishy, indirect for Aqua. Floater sent away by Nass. Nass still has to deal with Squishy. Robbed a Majoria, sends it away, and it's on target, too. And just like the last game, M80 sure know how to tie. Yeah, that one, that one hurts for Muffin Man. Gimmick just didn't have enough giddy up to get back. So they're all level now here in game two. This is exactly how it happened in game one. Muffin Man. Reverse it. Squishy. Denied by Jorius. Couldn't get a second touch. Now Joris. Demolished by Aqua. Gimmick trying to run onto this. And Nass just slows it right down. And I think that's part of the frustration that Muffin Men are going to have here, Lemon. As quickly as they can move, they are going to get outpaced by M80. And it feels like M80 is going to be able to just kind of control this series and play it at their pace. And they're going to make Muffin Men uncomfortable every step of the way. Yeah, M80 have been winning a lot of their challenges, maybe, except for that one. And that's really stifled their chances to get a good offense going. This gimmick forced to jump up, make the save. Nas able to utilize the back wall, and Aqua denies the double. But all three of M80 are knocking on this. And I can't believe they didn't score. I can't believe they didn't score, but then Aqua misses. Oh, if it's on target, it's a 2-1 lead. Oh, he's going to want that one back. I mean, what a read and save by Gimmick on the other side. Can Aqua do it again this time? Yes, he recovers. A lot of players might have kind of slumped their shoulders and be like, all right, well, that sucks, but at least he got back into it. <laughs> Squishy left that one for Gimmick. Nass is right there. He's got a full tank of boost, and he'll use it to win this challenge deep into Muffin Men territory. Nass ends up in the goal. Squishy way above him. And here come the Muffin Men breaking out in formation. It's Aqua denied by AJ, but Gimmick is right there. Can he get a shot on? No, it got too far away from him. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate Jorius couldn't put the shot on target there with a beautiful demo that cleared up the net, but here comes this time for redemption. Squishy will slow down the play, but it still gives a chance for M80 now in this blue half, but a mistouch from AJ. He's not going to win the ball back, but Nass assisting forward gets M80, you know, to the right of the net, but not necessarily able to carve through towards it. Now tied 1-1 going into the second half. Sort of a more quiet game coming out of AJ, who's been having one of the highest uh, shot percentages, at least in the top 10, I want to say, after Regional 2. So M80 struggling to get the lead back in their favor. But now Jory is Nass with that demo actually sends it away, but a back pass to AJ, which he wasn't expecting. Now Gimmick catching M80 fumbling. And you see that Muffinman are hunting for that lead. Oh, Gimmick. I don't know if that was intended. It's like he backflipped and it really threw M80's defense for a loop. And then his shot still denied, but I mean, that's what Muffin Man are gonna have to do. They're going to have to try and use some misdirection to try and trick M80's defense because just simply putting a shot on, it's going to be red unless you can get a blistering shot off a tailor-made pass. It goes Aqua, that midfield boost spawns underneath him, so Jorius takes it. And he may use some of it if this ball comes back into their territory. He may use it anyways. Here he comes. Jory is up to the backboard, almost forced it through. But Ock was there to slam the door shut. Here in the final minute, Muffin Men looking again. Fire down and in. That's <laughs> so tough because in the previous play, I thought Nas had such a fantastic setup, but needing to use the backboard just bought, costed a lot of time out of M80. And then as they're all mixed up, just the quickest counterattack came out of Muffin Men and M80 weren't established in time to defend against it. Now two to one for Muffin Men with 45 seconds left. M80 not even having clear possession here either. Jorius has to fight for it. Nass has a second to control the ball and escort as AJ's getting Aqua out of their end, but now Gimmick and Aqua against AJ. But, well, I mean, <laughs> Muffin Men are still trying to yeah, collect the ball, yeah. Uh, you take it, no, you take it. No, nobody take it, apparently. That, that could be costly. There's still 20 seconds. Demo on Squishy, well cleared by Gimmick. Now Nass, up to the heavens. Jory is downfield, he bumps Squishy back to the corner. This is still dangerously close to the net. Still dangerous again for NASA, and it's cleared out to the corner. That surely should do it for the Muffin Men. Aqua, though, beaten by Jorius. AJ under duress from Gimmick. Can they keep it in the air? Yes. AJ left it, and Muffin Men spike it to the ground. You know what this guy's gonna do. And there's still a lot to unfold here as we go to game three, a tie-breaking game in a one-all series. Both teams cheating up off the kickoff, but AJ didn't have a full handle on it, so Squishy wants to set up Gimmick, who gets demoed for his efforts. And good defense from M80 off a, a shaky kickoff there, and AJ's looking for bumps, can't find it. Jorius, no gap to be created for him. Pressure is on for M80. Oh, Gimmick and Squishy cross here, and now Jorius shot blocked away. Nass trying to just harass them just a little bit more. Jorius is there, double commit though out of Muffin Men. And that's gonna force Aqua into a real awkward spot, but he's got that one cleared away. Squishy back to the net. Everything looking normal-ish for Muffin Men now, despite that bump at the corner. As Gimmick, hassled by Jorius, and away, and AJ just caught up to that one at midfield. And I think I saw Nas grab the corner boost from Muffin Men, so Muffin Men are, are running on fumes, except Aqua, who I think managed to grab the side one, and it, it generated some momentum, but not enough when he didn't have teammates, so M80 back on offense. With uh, not too much being generated, now it's AJ who has to slow down Squishy and Gimmick coming through the left side. This is a dangerous spot to be in, but Nass waits for the approach of Aqua, reads it well, and here's the counterattack that comes in quick, M80 score off of it. Now this is Nass, but also Jory is there just slowing down Squishy. Squishy had to respect the redirect effort there, and that gave Nass all the time he needed bust through that window just outside the first minute. A rare game where we don't see an early goal out of the Muffin Men. What will that mean for them? As Aqua there to stop Jorius, got around another. Nas, can he catch up to this? No, wide open, Aqua! 
Aqua is just that guy. He had, uh, what, two goals in the last game to now the counterattack, this time favoring Muffinman playing off the back wall there. Fantastic job out of Aqua. And these have been close, low-scoring games. I think two one on both game one and game two. So both teams have each other downloaded. Now Nas and AJ just get this away from gimmick. They go above, they go high, and Aqua inching to shake up M80's offense. You need to come in quick if you're M80 to really try and surprise them. Getting below the defender is one thing, and AJ can't control the rebound, but goes to the corner to give themselves another chance, but loses it in the progress. M80, they've kept the pressure on for the most part. They're, of course, one of the teams that have kind of mixed things up here with this boot camp plan. Trying to put a little extra preparation into saving their split. Nass will turn on this and force Muffin Men back. So the teams that have gone to this boot camp strategy here this week, they're not performing well. Four and 10 collectively coming into this round. Just bizarre <laughs> numbers. When you think of all the talk about, hey, a boot camp will help. Well, only if you do it right. And apparently, these teams haven't been doing it right. Or they've run into some bad matchups. Here goes AJ turning on this. Jorius on the weak side. He started to turn in. Ball went over his head. And then Nass had his pocket picked, and it just went wide. And M80 are still trying to collect it as Gimmick came in for the challenge. He's been usually that demo guy or the challenge guy, something to surprise M80. Now Aqua bumps people out of the net. AJ comes out in time for the save. And the counterattack from M80 was coming quick and it got slowed down right at the midfield. And M80 have to survive now. They've taken care of Squishy, so you weaken that Muffinman offense. This one hanging on the edge of a blade. With a minute 30, Aqua challenging AJ. Where's this coming out of the corner? Paul Jorgens just got there ahead of gimmick. AJ and Nass now. It's going to be all AJ. Almost forced it through. But again, another goal line save out of the Muffin Men. Shades of game one. This one skips downfield. Gimmick is there. Got a piece of that clearance effort out of Nass. He was ready for it. And now Jory is back the other way. Quick shots high. No follow up as Aqua denies the rebound. I like the effort coming out of gimmick, but the perfect setups haven't been there. It's been tough for Muffman to get the strike they need. Here's Jorius up high, dodges the one, sets up Nass, and the 50 goes awry. And that was a chance for M80 to get the lead with less than a minute left. It's still a scramble in the blue half. As it comes out to Jorius with M80 with uh, some time to breathe until Squishy gets the challenge, almost gets gimmick in a position to score. But AJ and Nass were ready. Spacing's not good. Aqua, they, they finally disperse, but that could be troublesome for Muffin Men here. Final 30 seconds, well, there was not much. Oh, it's an own goal! There was not much of a path out, and Houdini found a way as Aqua, I mean, it's all gimmick there, clearing it out to Aqua, and then he just rolled it in AJ's path. What a development! <laughs> that is gonna hurt. So Muffin Men, two to one. If we're following the trend of 2-1 score lines, this is where it would end, you right? We'll have to see in 21 seconds as Nass and friends control the ball in the blue half, but great challenge out of Aqua, but does get bumped a little bit. AJ goes up high to recover it quickly, and Jorius couldn't catch this, so Squishy's on his tail. This pops up the gimmick. Who takes the shot, and Jorius makes the save. Oh, Jorius can't continue the play up high. There is something in the air. Running away. And all of a sudden, that fluky touch goes off of AJ, downfield into an empty net. And now M80 has to fight for their tournament lives against Squishy Muffins. Game four is <laughs> underway. Maybe it's just the, the broadcast buff of Squishy starting to win. Squishy and friends, obviously, starting to win games now that they're on stream. Because it didn't start off well, that's for sure. Now he gets demoed as I'm talking about him. But to be also oh. uncharacteristic, if M80 didn't make playoffs and they want to change that story, Nass with a great shot. And Nass after, I mean, Aqua did what he could, but just couldn't recover. Squishy couldn't get to that as it goes bar down and eventually in. 
We may have seen it just a moment ago. OG sweep Dignitas. So now Dig has to go to round five. And remember that big six way tiebreaker absolute mess that Gibbs had talked about a while back. All the chaos that could ensue. Kind of the, the linchpin of that is maybe Dignitas going out in round five. Well, that's where they're headed now. Oh boy. I'm, I'm glad I'm not in charge of math because that all seems very stressful and difficult. All, all I know is North America is fighting for three spots at Copenhagen minus, you know, G2 having the first one. And well, it's really spots, anyone's right? game. With, with Gen oh, yeah, yeah. securing their spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. There's there fewer recent. spots than there were at the start of the day. And it's, boy, it's getting real tight here in the final weekend. Oh, no way. This goes in. Oh, what a save by Jorius. Oh man, M80. How long could they hold on to this for? Gimmick with a setup for Aqua. The shot, the jump, and defender's not there. The tie. Right back where we started. Squishy retreating, and he has a great view of Aqua scoring over his head. 338. And we're all tied up. Three games decided by a 2 1 score line. Who will be the first to two here as Nass makes the save along the crossbar? Gimmick is up, but that's well saved away. Another attempt, though, from Aqua. He'll go from the ceiling. Waterfall down. Jory has had it all the way. Now M80 can breathe. Squishy grabbed the corners. He's able to go high with a full tank of boost. And Nass tries to interrupt him here in the midfield, giving time for M80 to reestablish defensively. And Gimmick just hasn't had a handle on that to maybe set up Aqua. Well, he comes back to his own half, and Jory is wanting that second touch, doesn't get it. Nass wasn't ready for the pass, and three minutes, match point for Muffin Men 2. Aqua shoves AJ out of the way, but Squishy can't win the 50 against Nass, and Gimmick gets involved, headbutts in. And then M80 have dealt with that aggression well. Oh, big oh. shot from Jorius. The defense, the transition from Muffin Man just slowed down a little bit as nobody really knew where to go. And Aqua, just a little bit of hesitation cost him big time there. Jorius just lets one rip. Aqua couldn't catch up to it. Halfway mark of game four coming up. A must win in so many ways for M80. And they keep it going though. Aqua's got that one cleared away. Here comes Jorius with Squishy waiting on the back wall. Yeah, this this has to be mentally tiring for all these players. <laughs> AJ's challenge ends up in the net, and the lead is two. A yeah, beautiful goal out of AJ. M80 with extra insurance. Even in the goal before this one, Muffin Men were really generating potential, but they were playing so far forward because the 50s just kept stifling, and then they couldn't find themselves rotating quick enough when M80's counterattack ensued. And now things are looking dire. Second half, three to one. Because now we break the two to one curse, I guess. As the ceiling pinch denied there by Jorius. Races against Aqua. Wanted to maybe pinch that out to AJ, but Jorius struggled with that. So now the defenders from Muffinman are back on this. They need to get something going, but AJ with Jorius really threatens the net against Muffinman. Hey, Gimmick, nice save. Where'd you learn that one? That goes across. As now Jory has had that skip out from the wall, caught up to it, set up AJ. Now they're just driving circles around the Muffin Men. Somebody's got to get boosted, get up in the air. Aqua grabbed a full tank. He'll come across, still needs some of it. That shot from Nass near the mark. And now Jory has doesn't let that get anywhere near midfield. Here he comes again. Looking for the backboard. Found it. Aqua's up and past AJ, but no pace on this. M80 will easily collect it back in their own territory. But just one brief moment of respite here. For the Muffin Men, they weathered an absolute salvo, and then they left the door open. All that work defensively just to get scored on anyways. Oh, I know, you said time to breathe, but it's M80 just being relentless. One strong clear out of Muffin Men, but the ball not in their hands. M80 collect, and they send it right back. Four to one for M80 with not a, but not a lot of time, especially with only four shots registered out of Muffin Men who not only need to clear this, but maintain possession and deal with shot after shot coming out of M80. And Muffin Men are panicking in the state of affairs and the down low pitch gets into. 
And another one. And another one. And another one. It is time to go next on to Champions Field. Game five yet again in the future for Muffin Men. Yet again with closeout opportunities. Letting it go to game five. Close out this final minute here as Gimmick will push ahead to Aqua. And what else is new? Another intercept at midfield. M80 have just had the clamps down on the Muffin Men throughout this whole game. Even that shot goes wayward now into the final 30 seconds. Will Aqua get one for the road here? No, Nash with the save. It's time to pack up and head to the next one as this one surely now, right? Now, if you can't score there, you're not gonna score the rest of this game. M80 do exactly what they needed to do. They scored early, they scored often, they kept the pressure on, and they converted those opportunities that they could not in the first three games. And the final result, when the clock hits zero here, is another trip to Champions Field as M80 perseveres and survives to fight another game. So back and forth. Game one went to M80, then Muffin Men with game two and game three. By Luminosity, you can't really blame them. Almost reverse swept by Justin and Shopify Rebellion. And now trying to survive and advance to round five against M80. The Swiss merchants. Stock has been falling today. Can they salvage anything here and put to rest the career of Squishy? Ooh, Nas forced to make the save there. And yeah, M80, I know have a, I know we call it Copenhagen, but a lot of Copenhagen too. When you have to reverse sweep through the Swiss to make playoffs, to give yourself a chance to go there. Now Aqua to the side. The challenge is coming in strong out of M80, where I said they were winning a lot of their 50s and sparking up a lot of potential and opportunities. But you know that Muffin Men won't take this laying down. Squishy not able to get that challenge. And this goes to Aqua, and M80 can't do much with this. Aqua anxious to get back on the attack. That's where he is best. That's where this team is best. When Aqua is able to act as kind of the facilitator. But he's going to play defense here. Shutting down AJ. And a race to the corner boost. But Aqua couldn't even what? jump for this. As Nas scores. Aqua in an impossible spot here. Yeah. I, I thought that Aqua maybe could have jumped. But I think the, car, the ball was coming from behind him. And didn't see it in time. And maybe trusted his teammate that was there. Either way. M80, great pinch off the wall, and they get the first goal. Three shots already <laughs> registered in the first minute. M80 are not playing around, and guess who's on offense again? Nass with the shot, but it's centered out. The rebound found by M80 as Aqua managed to at least clear this out. Oh, Aqua this time staying away from that ramp near the goal and able to make a play on that ball. Just spikes it for Squishy to go chase. That high bouncer, though, controlled by Jory is now Nass. From midfield, has to go forego the midfield boost. Aqua takes it from under him, and then he gets back to make a play on Jory. Here goes Squishy, trying to prolong his career for at least one more round. But that one got up and away from him with Aqua waiting. Here's Gimmick on the other side. Corner boost available, Gimmick steals it. Aqua's there too. Gimmick just bullying Nass right at the corner of the goal. It's available, and Squishy scores! It's the team effort from Muffin Men, starting with Aqua, having the reset, dodges the challenge, has everyone panicking. Nass with the attempted backflip when there might have even been a bump in the net and Muffin Men benefit from it, getting one on the board where it felt like M80 were just bullying them in the first two minutes of the game, registering all these shots. And the one time Muffin Men break out, will they execute? Champions Field, the house that, uh, that Turbo Bolsa built, and then Squishy, of course, taking his place. We look, as you see up under the M80 players, Omelette, 3-2, take down Luminosity. And that adds another wrinkle into the Swiss. As Nas goes to work, and Aqua's right there in his face. And a chance out for Gimmick on target. No, just a little high. I'm still just trying to absorb the loss there of LG. What a weird regional this has been. But it all comes down to not only this match, but what happens in this regional for the stakes of Copenhagen. 
And anyone can lose. Anyone can fall, no matter what peak you're at. We've even seen that out of G2. So Squishy, Gimmick, Aqua all playing forward. Hungry for this 2-1 lead. Oh. Squishy from up high gets it done. Oh, the wizard does it again from the ceiling. Nass, I don't even know if he had any idea he was there. With 2.15 to go, our last match of the round again comes down to Champions Field and comes down to Squishy trying to keep it going. Putting it in his own hands. Nass downfield. What does M80 have for an answer here in the final two? Could be Jorius up high and sent away. And whatever happens here, you want to play your best. And Squishy has put up the numbers in these last two series. Now two goals in this game. Game five champions field. When it matters, Jorius gets demoed. It's off to the side. But who's there first? I thought it was Naz, but Aqua is quick. Drove up, drove up the wall instead. And M80 harassing this blue half. Here comes Aqua with the double tap threatening there, but couldn't execute with that much speed. And Jorius, the counterattack, looking for the bump. AJ taps it in, and we're tied. Oh, they almost kept this one out, too. And M80 fans would have been raging. What else do we have to do? But AJ got to it just in time. Minute 23, all square on Champions Field. Squishy going to work to the skies yet again from the ceiling denied by Nass. Oh, that one got free. Team. Ooh. Gimmick there first, and Nass wants to be careful with this. Jory is escorting out with Gimmick on his tail, and Squishy makes the save. Double commit in the net, I think, too, from Muffin Man. As Nass can't escort this through, so AJ gets involved. And it's Muffin Man holding hands on this defense, but they still manage to make some space, but they're interrupted in the midfield. Jory is crossing in front of the net, but having no friends to pass to is tough, but the ball still remains in the blue half, and Gimmick managed to pitch this out from the corner. Want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Squishy has done most of that here in this game. Aqua has done a lot of work. Gimmick keeping the dream alive on a couple of occasions. Down to less than 30 seconds. Gimmick got to get this one away with two bearing down on him. Jory's is there. It just seems like at times there's no escape out of the blue zone. Squishy's got to dive after this with AJ coming on. And he does and wins that cleanly downfield. But across now, Jorius with Aqua waiting. Jorius gonna have to take it himself, and Aqua got a piece of it. Follow up is sent away as well. Overtime looming. Nass has something to say about it, and M80 <laughs> has pulled it off. Jorius buries the career of the legendary Squishy. I thought it was an overtime for sure. It was so fast to watch. After M80 has been so aggressive, he's been demanding his offense 